Welcome back. Mark Rudolph, branding advisor to CEOs. I can help you convert your company from murky to magnetic. I've also written three books just for you. Starting with Be Unique or Be Ignored, then moving on to Brand is Destiny, and my latest, Intra Branding. It teaches you that if you can't sell your message inside your building and get your employees to adhere to it, it will fail outside your building. Sounds pretty reasonable, doesn't it? Today, I'm going to tell you whether or not the CEO is becoming irrelevant. That's right. Is the CEO becoming irrelevant? The answer is no. The CEO is more relevant today than ever. The difference is the name has a different meaning. CEO used to mean chief executive officer. Now, CEO means chief ESG officer. Log on to Goldman Sachs. Log on to Merrill Lynch. Log on to Bank of America. You're bombarded with ESG messages. Now, I explained what this is in the last video, but I'll just briefly refresh your memory. It stands for environmental, social, as in social justice, and governance. So today, the CEO is beholden to the United Nations, the World Economic Forum, the ESG mob, in the panoramic Marxism diagram that I showed you before, but not beholden to customers or shareholders. That's a big change. And it's very dangerous. Let's keep walking through this. Here's the panoramic Marxism slide again. The guy in the middle is terrified. That's you. Surrounded by three messages. Climate change, melanin, and gonads. Everything that happens in Washington. Everything that happens in corporate America. All of this ESG nonsense. I can just boil it down to its essence. Climate change, melanin, and gonads. What happened at Ernst & Young, where the new rule is there's no meritocracy? Well, a whistleblower just revealed that Ernst & Young, one of the big four accounting firms, is indoctrinating its employees with anti-racist crap. That's right. If you're white, hate yourself. This is the D'Angelo book, the white fragility garbage. And if you remember... In the Four Steps to Marxism, the first one is to demoralize you. Remember that? They call you a racist, a transphobic, a climate denier. They want to demoralize you so that you will actually hate yourself. Once you hate yourself, you are malleable. They can do anything they want to you. And then destabilize, disrupt, and normalize. After they're finished with you, there's a new normal. And you now question who you are, and you question the world around you. That's what's going on here. If you think this isn't serious, the SEC just announced that it has created a task force for climate and ESG violations. That's right. And let me just read one paragraph from this announcement. The ESG task force is the SEC's latest step toward ramping up its enforcement of climate-related rules and oversight of the investment industry's response to several rising trends. I have a friend who is a securities lawyer. I texted him about this last night. He had no idea this was coming. It is coming. Let's look at Volvo, which announced its plans to sell only electric cars by 2030. That's only nine years from now. Now, why is this happening? Again, it's ESG. Larry Fink of BlackRock has already announced, if you don't have the right ESG score, if you're not in line with our climate agenda, you're not getting any loans. So these car companies, and, and Volvo's not the only one, but it's the latest, these car companies realize they can't function anymore unless they adhere because they're ESG doormats. Remember? 
I introduced you to that concept in the last video. Unless Volvo does this, it's not going to be able to sell its stock and it's not going to be able to get any financing. So it has to do it. Is it because customers want it? No. I don't ever want an electric car. And I will go as long as I can not to have one. I just don't want one. And I don't want to be forced to buy one. Now, the irony here is that electric cars are charged by coal and natural gas. That's right. Where do you think the electricity comes from? And let me give you another clue. There is not enough electricity in the world to power all these electric cars that the companies are planning to manufacture. It doesn't exist, and it never will exist. It's impossible. So it's a pipe dream. But everything that comes out of the left is a pipe dream. The whole point of this is not that it's practical. It's not that it's desirable. It's that it controls people. That's what's really happening. So to wrap up very quickly, the CEO of today is the chief ESG officer, not the chief executive officer. The CEO is a slave to the mob inside his company and the mob outside his company. That is not an executive. And if that's where your company is going, you're in serious trouble. But if you don't believe in any of that and you stand up against the woke mob, I can help you. And I hope you'll contact me. Again, you'll find me at markrudov.com. I look forward to hearing from you.